Okay, um, we're on our way to Birmingham. We're just um, on the Princess Parkway, Manchester. And as I say, we're on our way to Birmingham to do um, a gas valve. We're just helping out one of our um, engineer team members. He's on holiday today. And um, the other reason why I'm on the way to Birmingham is um, I want to prove a point, actually, to uh, this train, well, I'd say he's an engineer, he's a gas safe engineer. And what we tried to do, we tried to outsource this job because as I said, one of our members is on holiday. So we rang this particular engineer, who said to one of my staff members, we said, we've got a gas valve, but what's replacing it on a Ferrole? The gas valve's on site, just needs fitting. So this engineer, Birmingham says to my staff member um, it's going to take about three to four hours to fit this gas valve a oh, 40 pound car out and 40 pound an hour to do this gas valve so it tells as I said four hours is saying to fit a gas valve so I said to um, the staff member I'll ring this engineer myself and speak to him so I rang him up and I said to him, hey mate, this gas valve, what you want to do, what's going to take about four hours to fit, I think, you know, it's only going to take an hour. I said, I'm an engineer like you, so, you know, I know what it takes, and I told him who I was. I said, you can run my YouTube channel, check me out, just to prove I know what I'm talking about, you can see my diagnostic videos, what I'm doing. Anyway, it was a bit um, standoffish, he didn't really say much didn't really challenge me because the thing what he said was trying to say to my staff member there's one or two things he was either trying to rip her off by saying such a ridiculous estimation to fit a gas valve or he didn't know what he's doing and what I think what he's really saying is that I'm a newbie I've never fit a gas valve I don't know what's going to take me so I think it's going to take me four hours so I charge you, customer, for me learning because I don't know what I'm doing. That's what it really was saying. So I said to myself, you know what, there must be loads of guys like this person who's just gas safe registered um, and now going out there on their own, chanting right. it, right. doing jobs what they're going to screw up tell people bad information um, rip them off do all sorts of drama and this is what the customers are going to have to endure now <clears throat> I tried to speak to this guy and say look I can help you, that's what I actually said to him I said I can help you but he did want to know he was a bit afraid he was unsure but he's going to make loads and loads of mistakes and that's going to be replicated with thousands of engineers gas safe engineers who've just started going out there and trying it on their own and going to make loads of mistakes but today um, Isaac's with me now he's one of these guys who's just you know recently started out but he's picked the right path. I'm Isaac. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I see. Um, the little time I spent with you now, um, seven days now with you, you've opened my mind to a lot of things, especially the skills and um, handling tools and um, getting the job done, the diagnostic, using your five senses, you know, and all those things that I never used to think of before. Normally, I would want to go through the MIs to check and everything, but you've made me see that the MIs are there for you to look at, but you still have to, like, use your five senses. So it's been good. Okay. So this guy, what you heard the conversation with as well, yeah. about this guy saying it's going to take four hours to fit a gas valve. Yeah. What do you think about other guys who basically go out there without limited skills and just try trying stuff and gonna cut things up. How do you think like they're gonna fare being 
making good money in this business as opposed to what you're doing? Yeah, I, um, I think it's two things now. Um, first of all, the confidence that they need. Going out there straight away on your own, you can't have that full confidence. One. Then two, you make a lot of mistakes, costly ones, because um, there are times that you maybe you could fix a component wrongly. You know, not you know, like you always tell me to stand back when you're in the in the in the take off action. You have to like stand back and check and see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So they will definitely make mistakes, and um, those mistakes will be costly. So def definitely, those two points are very important points. Yeah, and any any new guy, any new engineer needs to have confidence to face the customer, to face the, the tax ahead and um, you know, not making any mistake, that will be costly. Okay, and like these new guys out there, not only are they going to make mistakes, the customers are going to be wary of them. Mm. Also, before even the customer situation, the money what these guys charge, like this guy who, you know, he said it's £40 car mm -hmm. out, 40 pound an hour yeah he didn't have a clue about pricing mm. he was basically a busy fool mm. we had another guy um, i think we spoke to in birmingham yesterday yesterday and he was we rang him and said can you do this job the one that you're going to now and he said to my staff member he said well i've got loads of work i'm busy i've got loads of breakdowns a busy the rest of the week After and I said to myself wow it's really busy but then we checked to see how much he was charging and that's why he was busy because he was undercharging and he's a busy fool again he's working and working and working doing free jobs which he, I could make as much money on one job or two jobs, so he's working a job more for nothing because these guys, they haven't got business sense they don't know about business they don't know how to create um, the right platform and it's because they've got no training, they've got no idea they just do things what they think it should be they just, it's trial and error whatever pops in the head, whatever they hear that's what they do so they've got no structure behind what they do when they're going out there in the world in business but in the engineer team network this is what we teach you this is why I call myself coach Tony Morgan because I coach people like Isaac who have seen basically the light have seen what is what I'm offering and what that can make the difference for these guys like Isaac so to basically hit the ground running they've got the right foundation they've got the right image the customers are going to look at them in a different light because of the, of the way their image is and the way they portray themselves so this person who I spoke to about the four hour gas valve job I want to hopefully reflect in what you said and you've made a mistake by turning me down. You should have really took the opportunity of saying, well, you know what, you're right. I don't really know what I'm doing. Can you help me? But it's never too late. You can still come back to me. It's not a problem. You know, we're here to help each other. We make mistakes. And it's up to you to recognise that mm -hmm. you've made a mistake. Yeah. And you can always come back. You can look at the website. You can click on the link below this video um, to go to the Master Engineer website. That will learn you about the mindset business training of what we do. That will give you the foundation what you need in order to become a Masterful Engineer. Right. Um, with the... Um, for repair training what um, I'm offering and what Isaac's going through now one of the um, oh, well, one of the many sort of techniques what we adopt is 
um, the, visual, the visualization technique and we use this to um, when we go on a job and we video it and we go through the processes which you'll see on other videos I've also introduced this visualization technique for him to visualize what is done what is seen and to really focus on that so he can go through what was done and said while he was doing his training on that specific job. And he does it over and over again and then we always get replication of jobs because we've got, we get that many jobs we can go back to a job or get a similar job and then just go over it again and that's when it starts that imprinting of his mind of the technique which I've shown him what to do it then just flows out it, it builds that training it imprints the information so his confidence is drastically increased so Isaac what do you think about the, the te techniques I've been telling you and um, what do you feel that's sort of bringing you on bringing the confidence up what do you think yeah, um, the techniques have been um, have been very helpful to me personally because um, I came from a background where um, I never used to handle tools, but the technique as in handling tools now is um, is working for me. What you've shown me, I've been trying to practice it. I try as much as possible to visualize, you know, handling spanners and um, you know, especially in difficult places, especially inside the boiler. So, like um, those techniques that you've shown me have been very, very helpful to me. All right, cool, excellent. Yeah, and that particular technique as I said it can be used for anything mm. anything okay we had a phone call before on the interruption there so what was I saying earlier was um, on the um, visualization techniques we have um, a set of videos which help you to create a um, creative visualization so in this program I said these videos, there's four of them, it gives you the techniques how to do it, even if you can't do it, he'll teach you how to do it, so it enhance your learning, really bring you on, so this fantastic program, which is all unique to the Massive Engineer program, and the Bollard Pair Training, which I offer, you'll learn this, and as I said, it's going to really bring you on. I'm really um, excited about this book, what I'm working on, it's, it's going to be like an audio book, I mentioned it already, and it's also going to be like a, vid a short video series, and as I said earlier, I'm really excited about this because me and my um, co-writer, who's going over it, um, doing work on it constantly, and it's coming to its the end of the draft, what we've been doing, I've been reading through it and I'm totally blown away with what I've now sort of created. The level of sort of um, the intelligence, the, the bandwidth of information, it was like it's been written by some sort of professor or someone with a PhD, someone who's super intelligent. And I can't believe I've written this the information what you're going to listen to or watch me the words come out of my mouth you're going to be really really shocked because I said the level of intelligence is way beyond comprehension and I can't believe I've written this however I can see how I've done it and how I've done it it's quite easy really because open many many years I've gone from the average person the way they think and the beliefs and everything and what they sort of emerge themselves in which is just social media chit chat what I learned from a young age and that's all I've sort of basically been involved with like most people do but what I've done I've come out of that I've gone into um, personal development, self-help, um, 
listen to thousands and thousands of minutes of audio books on person development, self-help, people who've got you know loads of wisdom, and I've learnt from all of this, internalised it. It's given me the knowledge and vision to now me write something like this, which you're gonna listen to yourself. And that's where it's come from. And people out there, you can be the same. And I'm going to show you that in the book. You're going to see that the things what we do on a daily basis, we don't, we do it without thinking. We do it automatically because we, we've trained ourselves like that. We program like that because that's all we see and do. So it takes something, something maybe like what you're going to hear about and see in this book might make you think differently and make you think that wow it makes sense this and look at things different look at life differently and then you can start building from there and start growing and this is why you know I call myself a coach because I've gone through the dark side of life and the things what what wasn't working for me now I've adopted these success principles, the way of thinking, how successful people do things, how to think, and there was a conversation what I just had with a customer uh, a few minutes ago, which um, Isaac witnessed the conversation, and Isaac, I just wanted to sort of um, share with people listening of what you gleaned from the conversation, how it all went, and what you think you know from your perspective of me being who I am and how we engage on the phone and how the conversation went the job went what do you think just give some feedback yeah um, from what I've observed when you talk to customers particularly this um, customer you just spoke to just now I observed that on consistent basis you always um Put your people skills to use your, 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 your charisma you make it um, very very prominent and um, you have a way of um, making the conversation go your way you you ban you banter around with them you make them feel at home you make them feel relaxed when they're speaking to you but the main target the main goal that you want is um, getting the business you always make sure that even after all the jokes and everything you go back to the reason for the call get the job and you always give them a recap so that there won't be any mistakes you know in like you you recap what you've discussed with them so that they are clear and you yourself you are clear and then um, everybody is happy and um that's it so you always put out your charisma your people skill you put it you put it to use now and again okay so now and again is that not every time yeah as in continuously persistently yeah. Exactly, yeah. And it's because I've practiced it. I've practiced it over and over. I realized it many, many years ago that um, I'd said a couple of words and they got the same result. And I started noticing that. And I thought, wow, everyone's reacting the same way. And that's when I started to notice what was going on. And I built from that. And as you said, I use charisma, I use my people skills, I use who I've become. I wasn't that before. In the, in the early days, I wasn't that. Because as I said, like we do, we just do things. We don't know what we do, we just do them. We don't think about them, just do them. But now I realised there's actually a method, there's actually a, a technique, a way of doing things to get things to go your way. And anybody wants to get things going their way. Who doesn't? You tell me. You want someone things to go against you? You want things people to put the phone down on you? You want people to shut the door in your face? I don't think so. Anybody on the planet wants things to go their way. And that's exactly what business is about. We're in business to make money, we're in business to get customers, repeat business. Yeah, guys will say, yeah, I get business already. Yeah, I don't need your skills. I do all well. But I'm not disputing you don't. But you could do things better.
better. And in continuous learning and development, that's what it's about. You never, ever got it. You're always getting it. You're always improving. It's a continuous learning cycle. So as I said, this is what this program's about. This is what Coach Tony Morgan will offer you if you come on our training program, if you subscribe to our Master Engineer website, if you want to come on the Boy Repair training like Isaac and the others to be part of the Engineer Team Network and to build yourself a great business using this great business model. So that's it. Simple as that. It's a no-brainer.